The last canine we have for you today is Buddy. Technically, he's Buddy too, because when he arrived on the adoption floor, we still had a beagle named Buddy. Um, so anytime we have animals where they're, they, they come in with a name um, or we have an existing one on and then another one comes in from foster care, um, we just add numbers to the end of it to make it easier for us to keep track because we want to make sure that they keep the name that they're familiar with. Um, Buddy is a uh, two to three year old pit bull mix. Um, he's got some great markings. He's got those great um, kind of cow markings, the, the, the black and the white. And uh, he is a big dog. He weighs 80 pounds. So if you're, you, if you're into big dogs, come and check Buddy out. If you're concerned that you might not be able to handle him, um, you couldn't tell how much he, he looked, what he weighed from his picture, he is a big dog. So um, and he is strong and he could benefit from some manners training like many of the dogs on the adoption floor to, to walk a little bit nicer without pulling, um, to sit you know, when you ask him to sit. Just some of those basics can go a long way, um, just like we were discussing um, with with pork chop, but overall his behavior assessment is is fairly good in terms of you know um, no issues with food aggression. He willingly lets go of objects. He enjoys petting and affection. Um, his his reaction to other dogs can be hit or miss sometimes, um, you know, depending on the dog. But that's okay because you know we can be as people can be kind of. We like some people, we don't really like others. Um, it's just important to pay attention to that body language and really know how your dog is feeling so that you don't set them up for failure with a, a do another dog encounter. So Buddy is quite talkative in his, in his kennel and that can be off-putting to some adopters. What can potential adopters do to curb that barking? Sure. So um, as we've noticed with, with Buddy here today, he, you know, outside of his kennel, he doesn't necessarily bark as much. And we've had plenty of dogs in the past who have done that, you know, incessant barking. A lot of it is attention seeking behavior. They're trying to get your attention. And um, we try to work on that here in the shelter by doing click for quiet. You know, we walk by if they're quiet and, you know, calm, then they get, you know, a click and a treat. So they learned that being quiet means all the treats. Um, but he's still learning that, that process, but he is doing a little bit better. Um, if he were to be um, a barker in a home environment, there are, are quite a few things that you can do. You can reward them for being quiet. Um, you can also teach incompatible behaviors. Um, so it's harder for dogs to bark when they're in a down position. So if he's barking, you can put him in a down. That makes it a little bit harder. And you can also put the barking on cue so that then he only barks, or as people often refer to it in cue, speak. Um, they only do it when they're asked. Um, so there's a couple of, of things that you can do on that front. But outside of his kennel, um, he's, he's relatively quiet even out in the play yard. So hopefully it won't be much of an issue in a home environment. If you think that you have what it takes to make uh, Buddy um, a good canine citizen and uh, quiet in your home, you can do that by um, visiting him first and then filling out an application um, to adopt. And you can make those appointments um, by going to visit fcac.as.me. Um, we do have visitations available Monday through Saturday and late on e evenings uh, on Wednesdays.